Hey everyone, I'm Sly here with Flo, and today we're going to talk about Spencer Burford. We saw this from Jack Hammer when someone asked him, how did the guards look? And he specifically said that Spencer Burford stoned him, arms dead three times. What are your thoughts on this, man? Man, that's a good sign for uh, Burford. Freaking, I like this guy coming out of the draft, man. I liked him because he was really agile for a big guy, could really move his feet. He was able to get to that second level because he's quick. And having him be able to do this in the trenches as well, obviously Eric Armstead is not a world beater, but he is pretty solid. And for a rookie to come in there and get the best of him three straight times, man, I think that's a good sign for uh, Spencer. Hopefully this keeps uh, building his confidence moving forward. And I like that he can play multiple positions. So I don't know exactly where he's going to line up yet, but it's a good sign moving forward. What do you think, Sly? Oh, man, I'm excited. You know, um, hearing that from Jack Hammer, you know, Jack Hammer, he's always on top of it, man. The guy knows what he's talking about. Last year, you kept preaching. I'm seeing the great things of Elijah Mitchell. And obviously, that translated onto the field. The fact that he's able to do this, man, three times, and that he's also saying that he's had a really good three days that the media's been there. I'm excited, man. We all heard Spencer talk about how he, when he was getting drafted, he was ordering those freaking tacos, baby. He was on the phone with the line saying, I'm getting tacos. And then all of a sudden, what happened? He gets a call from John Lynch. Hey, you're a 49er. The guy is awesome, man. Has a great personality. And the fact that he's doing this against a pro bowler. He's been in the pro bowl, Eric Armstead. And he ain't no scrub, you know. So the fact that he's doing this, having a great camp, I'm excited. The guy could play. He played tackle in uh, college. And he played some guard. And so when we saw him at the senior bowl, remember, he was great, man. He was playing tackle and he was playing great. The fact that he's doing this against Eric Armstead, man. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Yeah, man. And a good thing, when he did come out of the draft, he was super excited that the Niners got him because he said one of his favorite players growing up was Trent Williams. Mm -hmm. He said he really wanted to learn from him. So maybe he already is uh, working with Trent Williams. That's why he might have had uh, such a good day today. So I really like this kid's uh, thought process. Uh, seems like he wants to just get better. And I just hope that we got lucky and we got a steal in this draft with uh, Spencer. Yeah, man. I'm excited. And he's always posting stuff of uh, Trent Williams. I think today he posted a clip of Trent Williams just man handling some guy and so i mean the guy is pretty impressive like so his pff record his pass blocking efficiency was a 98.3 in 2001 that would have ranked 24th out of all 135 eligible tackles so the guy's been doing it in college you know i know he wasn't going to be against the best competition over there um in san antonio but when he went to the senior bowl he was still doing good stuff so i'm excited for him remember he only gave up one sack out of 338 pass blocking snaps in 2021 so that guy has been known to protect quarterbacks and if you put him in a guard he's probably gonna do even better so the fact that he's doing this Man, I'm excited going against one of our best defensive tackles and what, like Jack Hammer said, stonewalling him. It's a good sign, man. So um, one guy he went up against in college that we talked about before, Flo, do you remember we were talking about Western Kentucky's D'Angelo Malone? Mm -hmm. That was his best PFF grade out there, guys. That was his highest grade. He absolutely dominated D'Angelo Malone. And he got drafted, I believe, third, fourth round. And we got drafted. We were like, damn it. There goes D'Angelo. But guess what? Spencer dominated D'Angelo in college. So, I mean, we're seeing good things come out right now out of training camp. OTAs, excuse me, from Spencer. And yeah, that D'Angelo guy, he was one of those guys who was really uh, quick off the snap but yep. like i said earlier spencer has really good feet he's quick for a big guy and i think this was a steal for the fourth uh fourth round pick obviously this year we were hurting on the offensive line so in order for us getting this guy that really helps alleviate that problem potentially so good job john lynch uh picking this guy up i think that was a still pick yeah man and there's one there's one group where we are struggling at that's offensive line so the fact that we have a few of these offensive young bucks coming in here i think that's gonna help you know like if you want this job these guard positions that are available you go out and you take it man you take it and you dominate so oh man i think the sky's the limit for this guy and uh, hearing this from otas from jack hammer uh week two oh man i'm excited man let's go baby all right, well, hopefully we can hear more good things coming from Spencer's way. You guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.